Hey guys, I'm excited that you're tuning into this video and I believe you're here because you're looking at your business and you're like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing every day. Make sense? I think every realtor has been there. However, I think clarity brings power. When you are very clear about what you need to do, it is easier to do it because you understand why you're doing what you're doing. Our business planning is going to help you put your life into perspective so you can understand why you're in business. You didn't get into business just to make money. It was something that you wanted to accomplish, something that you wanted to do, and the money is gonna give you the resources, the means to get that done. And here's the thing, because it's something that you wanted to do, it's very personal to you. This is why business is hard because you're dealing with your personal wants and needs and desires. I wanna help you figure out how to create the life that you want and have a business that fuels and funds it. So tune into this video, let's talk about this. You hear me, um, I'm making a shift by the way. You hear me talk a lot about lead generation and I'm going to change that in my business because I realized that I haven't really focused on lead generation for probably like three years now. I have focused on client attraction and studying how to get people to organically connect with me. That's a form of marketing. My background is in marketing. This is what I love about real estate because you can bring your transferable skills in. But here, here's what you need to know. When you talk about lead generation, all you're talking about is client attraction. How are you going to get clients into your business? As a real estate agent, that is your number one job. How are you going to get clients into your business? Now, when we start talking about lead generation and in my CEO membership, I am going to give I'm going to start with uh some well-known lead generation uh methods like cold calling, like door knocking. But after maybe like the first three or four weeks, I get into the more personalized form of client attraction and marketing. Because here's the thing about building a business. I don't want to always have to, and, and here's as you get busy, you won't have the time to go out and find customers. So I want to build something. That's what marketing is. Marketing is you create something that draws people to you. So that now I'm taking the understanding that I have to lead generate and I'm creating a marketing um, system or a marketing funnel that I can now put out that can work when I'm asleep, work when I'm at work, work when I'm not working to draw people into me. What will make my phone ring? What system can I put in place that I can support through automation or leverage, meaning somebody else can do it or a system can take care of it for me. And then I can put that out there and wait for my phone to ring. That is what I focus on. And here's why. You can organically attract more people through marketing than you will ever through through lead generation and calling. Here's why. It's not a skill set matter, although I think you need skill set in order to lead generate well. It's a matter of time and efficiency. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm cold calling, like cold calling, I love cold calling. That's just my number one form of lead generation because it's hard and nobody else likes to do it. And I like to do the hard stuff, but here's the thing on an average day. I only got about two hours to do that. I'm limited by time because I still have client follow-up and I'm a full-time coach. So I don't even real estate is not my full-time thing. I only sell real estate because I always want to make sure that I'm doing the things that I'm showing my clients to do. I'm always going to do that as a coach. But here's the thing. I it, What if I put together a marketing platform, a marketing system, a plan that can work 12 hours a day just by virtue of how systematized it can work for a longer period of time, it's going to get me better results. Not because it's better, because it's working longer. See, I'm limited by time. This is why you're going to lead generate actively in my membership until we can build the systems to get you to do it passively. Your coach, if they're like me, because I got into this of time freedom, so I'm always figuring out how to get time back to my people, right? I want to get time back to you. I want to make sure you got time to go to your kid's baseball game. I don't want you to miss your mother's 50th birthday party because you got a closing. I always want to figure out how to get time back to you. The number one thing that you have to focus on in growing your business is lead generation. So if you take that time and, and, and build it somewhere else so that it can work for you passively, you can start to get deals without having to ever pick up the phone. And then the two hours that you spent um, building your lead generation magnet or funnel or your marketing funnel, now you take that two hours and you put it back into developing your customer service 
ClickFunnel, your customer service system, your customer service platform, so that now these leads are coming in from that marketing funnel, but now you're actively focused on building a system that allows you, when you work with clients, to get three referrals before they close. So then now for one client, you get four transactions. That has been my jam. Ever since I started, I was on a team. The only way I stayed on the team is because for every one referral, I made sure I got three pieces of business out of it. At different points of the transactions, I made it a point to get referrals, to get reviews, to get in front of their sphere on purpose. I systematized that, right? And then now everything is automated. So now when I'm going through a transaction, I usually get two referrals before we close. After we close is when I get the fourth one. And if they turn into closings, great for me, but I've built the system like that. So if I'm closing 50 deals a year, now I have the ability to close possibly 200 just based on that system. That's not even the system that I put in place to bring the clients to me. And this is what I'm saying about having somebody that looks at your business from a bird's eye view. You're in it. And until you can get out of it and look at it from this level, you're in it. You can't see certain things. See, as a coach, I'm not in it with you. I'm walking alongside of you so I can see you. I can see what you're doing. And the other part of that is I can see what you're good at. And then I can help you build systems around that. Because if you're not good at, if you just can't master cold calling, let's figure out something else, right? There's got to be over 200 ways to organically attract clients. You don't have to do it that way. And any coach that tells you that you have to do something some way is probably not the coach for you because they have a made up mind about you before they even get to know and experience you. There are just certain things that I'm just not going to do in business and not because I can't, I just don't want to. My coach would need to know that about me. Like I'm not door knocking under no circumstances ever, period. Again, I'm not doing it. I don't care. So if you just say, well, you're in my coaching program, you have to learn how to do it or not, I'm going to quit your coaching program because I'm not doing that. And coaches all over the place got clients that, that listen, you in their coaching program and you ain't doing nothing they tell you to do because it doesn't resonate organically with you. Now, in our coaching program, we give people options. So I'm going to give you 60 ways and then you can pick the three or four that m- resonate best with you. And then during our one-on-one, I mean, during our coaching sessions, if you're in the membership or our one-on-one coaching, if you're in the um, scale to seven figure uh, coaching, we'll, we'll dissect what that looks like for you. But it has to be very personal. And I need you to understand that you should only be actively going after clients a year, maybe two. And the reason why I said maybe two, because by two, you should have system set up where you're marketing to people and bringing them into your funnel. And then you're, you're now showcasing your expertise, your value to bring people into your world. You don't have to call as much. My phone rings all day, every day. And very rarely am I the person initiating the call, but I put something out there. That's how I got into the YouTube stuff and into the videos and into coaching. Cause I really wanted to just add value to the agents. Right. And then as I was putting the videos out there, the agents would respond. And then they would ask me, well, can you show me how to do that? And I'm jumping on all these sessions. I'm like, oh, no, we can't do all this. Because now that's really getting in the way of my business. We got to systematize this. And that's why we created the membership. It's just based off of all the things that I was doing to get success. And now being able to look at another agent and say, you can do that a lot easier. It doesn't have to be hard all the time. The, the part of what we what we promote in the CEO membership is we're going to show you how to build a life that you want because your life is first, have a business that supports that life so that you don't have to hustle. I can't, you, you don't have, you might got two years of hustle in you for real. Like I, I, I'm not young anymore. I, I can, I can hustle for a time. I can't hustle 24 seven. You can't hustle 24 seven. Don't you get tired? Like you just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? I am done. And then that's when people quit real estate. It pains me to my heart because I'm like, you made it hard or you allowed it to be hard. You didn't let anybody help you make it easier. It can be easier. I know, trust me, I'm living it. All right. And I want to help you do that for yourself. So I'm going to put the link to the membership in the bio. If you are looking to get to that six figure mark, or again, at the six figure mark, stressed out, hustling all the time and just want some time back, who wants to make $150,000 and then work 10 hours a day and can't enjoy it? That's not living. That's not what you didn't get into business for that. You got into business so you can have money and freedom because I'm sure that time freedom that is. And I'm sure you want the time freedom because there's some in your life that you want to do. You have connections, you have relationships, you have passions, hobbies, and things that you want to do that your real estate business should be able to fund your ability to do that. But guess what? If you don't have this information and you steady think that you have to trade time for money, it's going to always be this. 
Because here's here's the other part. Real estate agents, you don't own a business. You you just have a job that you own. You're self-employed. That's what it means. You, you just you, you if you remember the cash flow quadrant, you know there is the uh, the the um, employee, and then there's the self-employed. So it's E and S. So the uh, this side of the quadrant is active. So you were an employee working for somebody else. Now you just work for yourself. You own your job. But if you don't go to work for a month and you don't still make money, something is wrong. That's why you have to build marketing systems because if you go down, you get sick, your kid gets sick, you can't lead generate. You still need to be able to close deals. Here's the thing. I'm going on vacation for a month. I'm still going to have closings. I'm still going to get leads. I'm still going to take listings while I'm gone because the systems are set up. The clients are going to come in. Either I'm going to do, deal with them when they come in as far as setting up appointments and doing that stuff, or I'm going to give them to another agent on the team, but it's still going to move forward without me. And that's when you start to really get from the active side of the quadrant to the passive side of the quadrant, because now your business can start to function without you. And then you can start to really enjoy your life. I want to see agents get to that point. I want to see you get to this point. How about that? You got into real estate a lot of times for something like this. But the longer you delay actually signing up for coaching, getting into a space where somebody can give you directives on how to get to your goals a lot faster, the longer you're delaying this. And guess what? While you're delaying it, you're getting tired. When you get tired, eventually you'll quit. Don't wait till you hit rock bottom to say, okay, I need help. While you got your energy, get the help now so you can use your energy and your effort to build what you need to build so that one day you can walk away from it. When you come into real estate, you have to get rid of the mindset that I have to work hard to be successful. Yes, it's a work investment and you're going to have to put that initial work in. But while you're putting that work in, wouldn't it be nice to be building a plan that allows you to get to a space where you're not always having to work hard? Working hard will burn you out and it will keep you broke. And that's why a lot of realtors are struggling. That's why you're struggling. That's why you're looking at this video because you're trying to figure out like, what do I do to win? What do I do to get the business that I want? There is no shortcuts. You have to build it, but you have to build it with certain fundamental understandings of how business works. The stuff that I'm going to discuss in this video is if it's across any industry. Real estate is just an industry, but business principles are the same. Sales principles, especially. Yes, you're going to have to go out and find your clients, but while you're finding your clients, I want you to understand that on the back end, you should be building some type of marketing plan to attract clients to you so that if you ever get sick, if you ever have to take care of a family member and leave and do stuff, that your business can still continue to run because at the end of the day, we have got to make sure that our incomes are always coming in. We have to plan it like that. That's how you solidify your income. In this video, I'm going to give you just some insight and in what to think about as you're going out lead generating and when you need to be making that switch to attraction marketing. One of the things that I'm really good at is getting people to come into my world and I teach agents how to do the same. Tune into this video. I'd love to hear your feedback as well.